Okay, in this problem it says that a tree is exactly 10 meters tall. And it's asking for the total molarity of the solutes. If sap rises to the top of the tree by osmotic pressure at 20 degrees C. And we're assuming that the groundwater outside the tree is pure water and the density of the sap is one gram per milliliter. Okay, and they give us a uh, conversion between pressure units, millimeters mercury, millimeters water. Okay, so first of all, this is an osmotic pressure problem. So the equation we're thinking of is pi equals CRT, and we want to find the molarity, that's the C, and that means we need to find the osmotic pressure, pi, okay? So we have the temperature, and of course we have R. So um, the pressure, okay, the, uh, you know, when you measure something in millimeters of mercury, that, that pressure, those are pressure units because it's a column of mercury, and the weight of that mercury is equivalent to the weight of the atmosphere um, pushing down on the mercury, okay? So let me just illustrate this a little bit. We have, um, here's a column and say you've got this in a, uh, a little tray, okay? Here is atmospheric pressure and that is pushing up the mercury, okay? This would be a closed and evacuated column and if this is normal atmospheric pressure, then the distance up to this point, this would be 760 millimeters. That's that little, literal distance from this level up to the top, 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so this same principle applies for um, any kind of uh, substance in that column. In other words, we could put a column of water and the, the water won't, doesn't weigh as much as the mercury is, so the, the column of water will exert less, uh, less force, okay? Or uh, the same length of water uh, will, will be created by a l smaller force of, of pressure pushing down, okay? and smaller by the amount of the density uh, of water versus mercury, okay? Mercury's density is 13.6 grams per milliliter. Notice that's our conversion between millimeters mercury and millimeters of water, because for every millimeter of mercury, there's 13.6 millimeters of water because it's one gram per milliliter there. So that's uh, from the, the ratio of the densities of mercury and water, okay? Now, in our tree, we have this same arrangement where we have a column, not of water, but of sap, okay? And that's why we're given the sap density, same as water, so we can treat it as, uh, as though it is water. All right, so the, um, the pressure is going to be in, in millimeters of sap, which uh, one millimeter of mercury is equal to 13.6 millimeters of the sap, okay? And we have a 10 meter tall tree, so uh, multiply that by a thousand, and you get a 10,000 millimeters, that's the length of the column. So our pressure is going to be 10,000 times 13.6. Um, and I'm just going to write this as uh, 1.36 times 10 to the, here we have four, and then that's another one there. So times 10 to the fifth millimeters of water. Okay, so this is the uh, pressure, our osmotic pressure, 
of this system. Okay, now let's go ahead and convert this um, to um, to uh, to millimeters of mercury. Okay, um, and I I just realized I. <laughs> we have 10,000 millimeters, okay? So this is the length of that column, and this is how I'm actually going to set this up, okay? 13.6 um, millimeters of water for every millimeter of mercury, and then uh, our millimeters of water will cancel and we'll get our pressure in millimeters mercury. Okay, but actually I'm going to go ahead and add another step in here to go to atmospheres because um, millimeters mercury is not uh, convenient because I need atmospheres for my um, my R units to cancel. Okay, so there's 760 millimeters in one atmosphere. And so if we take the uh, 10,000 millimeters of water divided by 13.6 divided by 760, we get um, 0.96 seven atmospheres that is the um, osmotic pressure okay so now we've got that part we have our temperature we add 273 to get it to Kelvin and that becomes 293 Kelvin all right and we just uh, plug in these values. I'm going to go ahead and solve this for C, and we'll have C equals pi over RT, and my pi, I said, was 0 0.967 atmospheres. Okay, and I'm dividing that by R, which is 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Notice my atmospheres cancel. And uh, I'm dividing again by the temperature, which is 293 Kelvin. Okay, now I'll just put a 1 there. My Kelvins cancel. And what I'm left with is moles per liter. All right. So the concentration here is going to be 0.967 divided by 0 0.0821 divided by 293. And we have 0 0.0402 molar. Okay, so that is the answer to the first question, which says what is the um, molarity of the, uh, the total molarity of all the solutes in the sap. Okay.